हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक मल्टीपल सब स्क्रीन एज ए पार्ट ऑफ मॉड्यूल पुल प्रोग्रामिंग हाउ वी कैन कॉल मल्टीपल सब स्क्रीन इन टू सब स्क्रीन एरिया सिंगल सब स्क्रीन एरिया बट यस वन एट ए टाइम एट ए टाइम One subscreen will come into subscreen area of normal screen. So, as a part of that, we created one normal screen, two subscreens. We designed the layout for normal screen and subscreens. Then, after that, we have written the logic in the P A I of hundred screen means normal screen. now we will go for real implementation because now our real part of the requirement will start because now we need to go for the sub screens into sub screen area now the process will remain the same you all know what are the steps to call a sub screen into sub screen area of normal screen what is first step we need to create sub screen area into normal screen have we created the sub screen area into the normal screen yes we created now after that we need to call the sub screen into sub screen area of normal screen now we already started the syntax for the same how you can call a sub screen into sub screen area of normal screen this is the syntax call sub screen sub screen area name including sai rep id and sub screen number we already put so much stress previously when we call the single sub screen into sub screen area of normal screen now we will write the logic now in the 100 screen pbo we all know at what time pbo event will call that event process before output event called before displaying a particular screen so in pbo we are writing the logic to call the sub screen so i will go for that i am writing call sub screen what is sub screen area name sub including sai rep id you all know whenever something starts with sy it is a system variable yes and sai rep id is a system variable for the program name or i'll say report id or program id now here the real understanding will start see previously you have only one sub screen so you gave the sub screen number here now we do not have a single sub screen we have multiple sub screens yes so how we will go for that particular scenario so rather than hard coding a single sub screen i will go for a variable i will pass one variable here real real understanding will start now previously you have single sub screen so you pass the single sub screen and single sub screen appeared into sub screen area of normal screen now we do not have a single sub screen we have multiple sub screens now we have written call sub screen sub including sai rep id and i have written one variable it means i need to declare this variable so this variable i will declare i will go to the top of the program and i will declare this variable 
I will write data LV underscore screen. Suppose I will take the length as four because you all know whenever you are creating a screen, length is always, always four. I will write type N. N means numeric because we all know screen number is numeric. Now I am writing value, value. I will give a default value to the, the, I will give a default value to this variable. Suppose first subscreen I am passing as default. Now what will happen? Just see, you declared one variable which has a default value 101, 101 subscreen number. How it will work? Whenever you will run your program, whenever we are running our program, we all know process before output of 100 screen will call. So this statement will execute. What is the default value of this variable? 101. It means 101 means header, header subscreen will appear into subscreen area of normal screen. So whenever our program will run for the first time, we will get the header screen into subscreen area. Means we will get the subscreen 101 into subscreen area. Now, I will show you up to this level so that after that we can rewrite the logic. Now, whenever I run this program, process before output called, whenever process before output called, this statement executes and what is the value of this variable default value 101. So 101 will appear into subscreen area SUV. I will execute. Now you can see 101 appeared into subscreen area. We have not designed this screen on 100. It is a subscreen. It is a subscreen which appeared into subscreen area. Now the real next understanding. Whenever you will give input and click on to header details. Whenever you will give the input and click on to header details, we know which event will call whenever you are performing a action on the screen. PAI process after input event will call. Whenever we will give the input, and click on to header details button, process after input will call. Yes, we will fetch data in the process after input of 100 screen. You have written the logic to fetch data and we will get the details here. Now the next question. Whenever you will click on to item details button, Again, process after input event will call. Yes, you are giving the input and item details. Whenever you are giving the input and click on to item details, PAI will call. Yes, it will fetch data for item also. We have written the logic. Yes, now the question comes, but screen is as it is. In that case, what should be the subscreen? Subscreen will be 102. Yes, if header is there, screen will be 101. If we are clicking on item, screen will be 102. So how we will write the logic? Very easy. It is just extremely understanding. We all know every button has a function code. Yes. So we will simply write if 
psi u com is header the variable which we took for the subscreen which we took for the screen if psi u com is header that variable will be 101 if psi u com is item that variable will be 102 we'll simply i'll write the logic then we will go for complete understanding now you all know whenever you are clicking on to these button, which event will call process after input. So we'll write the logic in process after input. Firstly, PA I will call. I will write a logic. If psi u com, extremely important understanding. I will write if psi u com is equal to header in the layout we gave the function code as header if you are clicking on to header details button what is the variable we took for the screen lv underscore screen is equal to 0101 now else part the psi u l v underscore screen is equal to zero one zero two. for the best understanding you can create multiple if conditions also if i will write go for else if you can write in that way also else if if lv underscore else if, if psi u com is equal to item, so that you will get more clarity. If psi u com is item, what will be the screen variable value? 102. And if. Now I will check the syntax and activate. Just see how it will work. Anyways, in the next video, we will understand this in the debugging mode. Suppose I'm running the program. Whenever I will run the program, we all know which event will call first. PBO, process before output event, always, always call before displaying a particular screen. So firstly, PBO event will call, yes. And what is the default value of this variable? Default value of this variable is 101. It means 101 will come into subscreen area of normal screen. Done. We got the screen. Now, after that, yes, you are clicking, you are giving some input and you are clicking on to header details button. Whenever you are performing action, which event will call? PAI will call. And what is the psi u com? Psi u com is header. Psi u com is header because you clicked on header details button. What is this variable value we are setting? 101 because we want to go for 101 only. It will fetch data, everything done. Now, after PAI, PBO will call again. You all know PBO is calling whenever we are want to display a screen. So process before output calls every time before displaying a particular screen. So PBO will call again. And what is LV underscore screen? 101. Now, suppose we are clicking on to item details button. Whenever you will click on to item details button, what is psi you form? Item. What is screen number now? 102. This variable is 102. Now this variable is 102. After PAI, PBO will call again. 
and now what is the variable value 102 102 will come into this subscreen area and what is 102 that is item this is how how the full process will work anyways in the next video i will show you each and everything in the debugging mode extremely extremely important understanding so that's it in this particular video if i will go for the summary what we did in this particular video we simply written the logic in pbo first rather than passing the hard coded screen number hard coded screen number means 101 or 102 we cannot hard code now i put some variable and what that variable i declared that variable with the default value 101 and based upon the action of the user if sci ucom is header we are setting that variable to 101 if sci ucom is item we are setting that variable to 102 now in the next video we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode so that's it in this video thank you